back to our YouTube channel again. So guys, in this video, we will see how to fix failed to load preferences in your Cisco AnyConnect. So guys, if you are facing such type of error, so guys, you are not alone. Many have users having this issue and in this video, we will find some relevant way to resolve this issue. Okay. So guys, let's start. So guys, first of all, you can delete your preferences files. For deleting, you simply open your control panel where you can search the file explorer options and select it. And click on the view tab and under the advanced uh, setting, select and hidden the files folder and drive and click. So this is the uh, folders and the snap of where you can check your hidden files and the folders and show hidden files folder and drives. Okay it keeps some uh, unhidden files access so you can delete the preference files for deleting you can check this uh, path most of the time this uh, path is uh, same on many devices and where you can delete all the files in your profile folder and then preference.xml in your local app and your data folder after that you can check the user permissions for checking the user permissions, you can go to your the path navigate uh, program data Cisco Cisco any connects and secure mobilities client profile. Then you can right click on the profile folder and select the properties and in properties you can go to the security tab and ensure your user account has full control. You can see here is uh, the image which uh, helping you to understand how your server is look like while connecting okay then guys we are moving to the another fix which is registry the fix advance so guys this is the advanced step so for that you can open your uh, registry editor and you can press windows plus r to open it and where you can press entered after typing the redit and you can navigate to the following keys h key local machine system current Control setting services slash VPN VA. Then you can see modify display name. Ensure your display name field containing only Cisco and any connect VPN virtual mini port adapter for the Windows X without any additional character. And you can uninstall and reinstall your Cisco any connect and uninstalling the Cisco any connects for uh, disconnect it. You can go to the control panel and programs uninstall the applications select cisco any connecting and any click then you can download the latest version of your cisco any connects from your organization or vpn portal or cisco official website then you can install the application and try to connecting again after that you guys you can uh, profile issues as on asap asa if you are using a Cisco SAP for VPN connection, there could be an issue with the profile push from the ASA. If you are suspect profile issue, you can delete any problematical XML profile from the ASA configurations. And guys, thank you and have a nice day and subscribe our YouTube channel for the further informations. Oui.